Hey, my name is Ben Geib. I'm 21 years old. I live in California. My three goals in life are to have a full beard, write a book, and go skydiving. Yeah, I was born in 1991 and uh, just, you know, raised in a Christian home, um, grew up in the church. Um, I was saved. When I was five years old, my mom just kind of like told me about hell and I was like, yeah, don't really want to do that. Um, so went out back outside of this house, actually, this is where I grew up, uh, kind of giving you a picture into my life. Um, went out back and just sat on the steps and just kind of like, okay, God, don't want to go to hell. So uh, prayed and accepted Jesus in my heart, uh, but it didn't really take it seriously at all. So this is my room, uh, my computer. My guitars, this is Vanessa, my acoustic guitar, and then Jack, my electric guitar. Uh, yep, door's still broken. Grew up in a church, grew up in Christian school, um, all went to the same place. So I grew up with a, like, a huge like bubble that I didn't really step outside of. Um, so yeah, didn't really take my faith seriously at all until, man, until like 8th grade. Um, then I was at a youth conference in Philadelphia and I just really felt, okay, like, really need to start taking this seriously, really need to start, you know, living it out. So it was there that I kind of um, started taking things seriously and just, uh, yeah, really started living for God after that. Um, I really got a heart for ministry at that point. Not sure what God's going to use that in my future, but, um, yeah, it's definitely there. Yeah, this is where I spent a lot of time learning about the Bible. This is really foundational in my faith going through high school growing up. Um, I was student chaplain my senior year, which was awesome. We got to talk in chapel a few times. Um, I was on the chapel committee, so I planned chapels and everything. Um, and all that happened right in there. It was around that time that my youth pastor, Mike, he was like, hey, like, you know we read Crazy Love in, in high school, you should check out um, the school that Francis Chan started. It's like, oh, okay, didn't know he had a school. So, checked out the school, Eternity Bible College, um, and I really liked what I saw. But I wasn't too keen on moving out to California by myself, because um, my parents were planning on leaving the country for a year. Um, so, yeah. Um, I had a friend who, one of my best friends who I grew up with, who was also praying about going to the school at the same time, um, didn't know it, and we went to a youth conference in Georgia last winter, and he was just praying about it, really felt like God was calling him to go to EBC, so he was like, hey Ben, this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to EBC, uh, yeah, and I was like, whoa, I didn't even know that you were thinking, of, like, I didn't even know you knew that school existed, uh, so, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but when he started going, I was like, okay, well, since he's going, I should probably pray about it more. So I prayed about it, really felt like that was just a confirmation that I should check it out a little bit more. So um, I applied just for kicks and giggles to see what would happen, and I got accepted. Um, so right now, living in California, just going to EBC, and yeah, loving the classes, loving the professors, loving the community. It's a small college, so it feels like going back to high school, which is great. Um, yeah, I love everything about it, so it's been a good experience so far, and I'm excited to see where the next four years take me.